So I recently made a course on how to build an Nginx load balancer for a Node.js API cluster. In the architecture for this project, which we can see right here, each component runs inside a Docker container inside a Docker network. So we've got our Node cluster over here and Nginx here, all of these being Dockerized. However, not every component is exposed to the outside world. Specifically, the Node.js cluster right here can only be accessed by containers within the same Docker network. And this protects the API cluster from being overloaded. In other words, if someone wanted to overload my Node.js cluster with a bunch of requests, they would have to go through Nginx first, and Nginx can easily be configured to handle a massive amount of requests, and even drop requests if they seem like a DDoS attack. So what this means is we can use Docker to protect certain containers from the outside world. And Docker makes it very easy to do this. And one way to do this is to use Docker Compose, specifically the expose key. So what I have right here is a docker compose.yaml file. Of course, this is just coming from my blog website. It's a code snippet. But in this docker compose.yaml file, we spin up our node API cluster, which is three replicas. And then we have our Nginx reverse proxy or load balancer, which is right here. And notice the difference on what we're doing with the ports. So for node, we're just using the term expose, whereas for Nginx, we're using ports. And we're actually making a port mapping from our host machine to inside the container. So the difference here is this expose key will expose the ports inside the Docker network, whereas ports will expose the port in the Docker network and also out of the Docker network on the host machine. So what this means is you can use this expose key to protect Docker containers from the outside world. And this expose key is applicable in many situations. So not just, for example, this node cluster that needs to be protected by an Nginx load balancer like I have right here. Another common one is say you have a monitoring stack, Grafana, for example, not all the data sources would need to be exposed to the outside network. Another common example is Postgres. Say you have a database, a Dockerized database. There might be no need to actually expose this database port to the outside world, and that would protect a lot of people from just attempting to connect to it, but just something to consider. Just know that you don't always have to use the ports key to map your Docker containers to the outside world, because some only need to be accessible from within the network. That's all I want to show you. If you like content like this, check out my courses here on courses.wicode.com. I've also got some pretty cool software that you'll find useful if you're a developer, which I'm sure you are if you're watching this. Besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.